it's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Of course it isn't. Then who was it then? None of your business. Oh, no, now look what you've done. Can't you just leave me alone? Oh, now this right-angled triangle can do tricks. <laughs> it can rotate itself. Clockwise, first of all. Now, clockwise is that way, isn't it? So, round it goes. Woo! How about that? And back again, anti-clockwise. What a clever triangle. Now, the very important things to look at during rotation are the vertices. Vertex 1, 2 and 3. The very, very points of the triangle. What happens to each of the vertices of this triangle when it rotates? Well, look very closely. The triangle is rotating around this vertex. See what I mean? So the very, very point doesn't move at all. It didn't move, did it? No! Meanwhile, though, this vertex over here is going up. Watch. There you go. It's going up. <laughs> and this vertex is going down. <sighs> so clever. Three completely different experiences for the three vertices. Three vertices, three vertices. What will our rotation be? What will our rotation be? I am the one who does not move at all. I take a jump and I take a fall. It's a very confusing time for us all The three vertices Be nice to us, please Who's up for the warm-up? Tell us your names I'm Sarah Bisfan from Watford I'm Nico Jakes from London okay. This triangle is going to rotate It's going to rotate around Vertex A Vertex A It's going clockwise Clockwise. And it's going round 90 degrees. 90 degrees is a quarter turn. With this particular triangle, what will happen to the vertices? Vertex B will go down. Vertex C will go up. And? A will stay where it is. Well, let's see the rotation. OK. Rotate the triangle back through 90 degrees anti-clockwise. B will go up, C will go down, and A will stay the same. Vertex B going up, C going down. Rotation complete. Ooh, here we go. Rotation, rotation. Just one vertex keeps its situation. Rotation, rotation. Well, the other vertices, they get an alteration. Gonna pick a vertex out, move that chip around. Watch the other vertices Do they go up or down? Rotating shapes is what I do I do what I please That triangle's gone clockwise Right through 90 degrees Rotation, rotation Just one vertex keeps its situation Rotation, rotation Well, the other vertices They get an alteration All right a second quick warm-up before we hit the test. It's going to be a clockwise rotation of 90 degrees around vertex A. Clockwise round A. Where is vertex B going to end up? 
B starts three units to the left of A. It goes round, so the new B will be three units above A. All right, what about C? C starts off two units above A, goes round, so the new C has got to be two units to the right of A. OK, let's see how you did. You seem to be getting this rotation right. Get ready for a rotation of 90 degrees clockwise about A, B. How far away from A are you? Three units to the left. And where will you be after you've rotated? Three units above. C, how far are you from A? Two units above. And where will you end up? Two units to the right. OK. Clockwise rotation, 90 degrees, about A. Begin. Off you go. Round you go. Keep it nice and tight. Congratulations. And another rotation. Rotate. Keep going, keep going. Rotate again. Keep going faster. Go on. Rotate. That's one way to dry the washing. That looks fun. Oh, I hope not. Now get ready for the test, because the test <sighs> is ready for you. Time to rotate a rectangle. Where will this rectangle be if it rotates 90 degrees anti-clockwise around vertex A? Doing vertex B. B starts three units above A, so the new B must be three units to the left of A. Doing D. D starts two units to the right of A. It goes round, so the new D is two units above A. Doing C. C starts two units to the right of A and three units above A. That's hard. Oh, don't worry. A didn't change. So you know where three of the vertices of the rectangle are going to be. So where's the fourth vertex going to be? There. Are they right? Let's see. Hmm. OK, try this one. This time, rotate it 90 degrees clockwise around vertex D. I can do C. C starts three units above D. It's going to end up three units to the right of D. I can do A. A starts two units to the left of D. It goes round, so the new A must be two units above D. Hurry up. Remember, D didn't change. B's the hard one. Come on! Got the other vertices. Too late. So nearly there. With three corners of the rectangle, you know where the fourth one must go. Oh, let's see the rotation. But no maths card for you this week. Oh, dear. Go on, clear off. Can you handle rotation? Let's find out if you can. The vertical red rectangle goes 90 degrees clockwise around A. The horizontal blue rectangle also goes 90 degrees clockwise around B. The green rectangle doesn't move. Do you get it? That's the question. Do you get it? And remember, no leaving without learning. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion. The game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> what would happen if I rotated myself through 90 degrees? Hmm.